This, this is, um, uh, hmm, this is incredibly awkward. Having a fun time, Stella? Little bit of pretend? Bet all your people out there would love to hear about this. Oh, please, no, 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 no. You can have your dumb sword back. Let's just pretend this whole thing never happened and I will let you go. I won't forget this, Jesse. History will remember this as an important day in our rivalry. That's right, the day I reclaim the upper hand. Curse you, Jesse! Classic rival. Rah! Feels so good to have you back. Thank you so much for your help. I know it got a little weird back there. I appreciate you still helping me anyway. Hey, it's all in the past, Petra. Just happy to reunite you with your favorite deadly weapon. Oh, and it feels so good. What is that? Stop that. Or those. Well, it's a lot of creepers. And they're charged? That should be impossible. Tell them that. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Cheap sword. I got you covered, Jesse. <laughs> so good to have you back. No, you don't! Oh, that would have been dumb if it wasn't so awesome! Oh, come on. We need to get this thing covered up again. know how we're gonna get this to hold. That heck mouth blew right through the ground. First your prismarine gauntlet, then that prismarine pit spitting out creepers. We need to get to Jack's fast. Yeah, I hope this treasure hunter knows as much as you say he does. He does. He's gotta. Come on, I'll show you the way. Welcome to Bad Luck Alley. Wow, I didn't even know people hung out down here at night. Well, yeah, it's the cool part. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, uh, you know, these are the people who like to live off the grid, outside the rules. And you're kind of the boss. It's just the way the world works. That's like the trade-off when you're in charge. You know that. Well, I really appreciate you showing me. I know this is like your thing or whatever, and it's nice of you to share. <laughs> you are such a cornball, but no problem. Should be somewhere down here, I think. Wait, have you never been here before? You said you knew a guy. Okay, not know him, know him, I know of him. Okay, fine, he's a legend, all right? He was once one of the greatest treasure hunters in the whole world. And he's kind of a hero of mine. What should I say? What should I do? I can't believe I'm about to meet Jack. But what if he invites me to go adventuring with him? Well, if I can offer some advice, best thing to do around your heroes is just act like yourself. Otherwise, it's weird for everyone. Be myself. Got it? Got it.
Jack and Nurm's Adventure Emporium. Yep, that's our place. Man, I've always wanted an excuse to come here. Peak Mountain, the Ice Crags of Doom. It's just like I told you, Jack might be the best adventurer in town. This stuff is from all over the world. See, Petra, Beacon Town has some pretty cool stuff too, huh? Oh, uh, well, I mean, what's cool about all of this is that it isn't from Beacon Town, though. But you've got a good point. This is a, a big win for Beacon Town. <clears throat> Welcome to Jack and Nerm's Adventure Emporium. Oh my gosh, it's him. It's Jack. Sorry, I'm, I'm a big fan. You push the button. Very, very brave. Uh, thanks? I think? You're not being sarcastic, right? I don't make a habit of it. <gasps> the warriors of the Whispering Mountain call me the Stab Walker. The Air Titans of the East call me he who slashes like thunder. But you may call me Jack. Think you'll start talking like a normal person anytime soon? All in good time. So, what can I do for you today? Desert Temple? Woodland Mansion? Whoa! Yeah, that's what we're here about. <coughs> uh, wow, huh? Crazy glove you got there. Not that I've ever seen one before. Uh, looks real crazy, though. Crazy stuff. Jack, look at yourself. We know you're lying. Why? Yeah, come on, Jack. I... that is, uh, um... Found it on top of a creepy bottomless pit, right? Spitting out monsters? Yeah, and it had a slot with, like, a weird symbol? <sighs> you should have never picked up that gauntlet. It's not for us mortals to tamper with. I don't get it. What's the big deal? It's a glove! There's a hole in the ground! Oh, it's much more than that, friend. That pit, it's as deadly as they come. And that symbol you saw was the symbol of the structure block. Legend says it was a mighty tool that could grow civilizations like seeds create cities in the blink of an eye. You need one of those to close your pit. So where can I get one of these structure blocks? Petra thought maybe an ocean monument because of the prismarine? Oh, it's an ocean monument, all right. The villagers of Mushroom Archipelago call it the Sea Temple. Hmm. No, no, no problem. Guys, this is Nurm, my other half. He's the genius behind all of our fine maps. Nurm, this is Jesse and Petra. Hmm. Hi. Oh, hi. I was just about to tell these two that I can't help them. What? I love your early work. Witherstorm, old builders, awesome. But as a purveyor of fine maps and adventures, your death would be terrible for business. But... Sorry. I just can't. Well, then I guess we'll take our business elsewhere, right, Petra? What? Uh, but... <sighs> mm. I'm guessing there are tons of people who know where to find this place. <sighs> the 
That's where you're wrong. It's like I said before. The world's a lot bigger than you think it is, Jesse. Yes, the empty square is where we need to go. Yep. And it's missing because... I, uh, kind of burned it. I threw it into a volcano, okay? What? Why? You didn't need that kind of danger anyway, all right? I swore I wouldn't take anyone else to that temple ever again. I refuse to let it take any more lives. <sighs> Shut up, Nurm. What? Oh, I see what's going on here. You're scared. No. I'm the one the Apex Hunters of the Sergeo Pass call Fearless Dagger. I don't do scared. I found a gauntlet just like that once. Teamed up with my friends Voss and Sammy to follow its trail. Neither of them made it out alive. Hence, uh, you know, lava, map, volcano. You remember what I was saying, anyway. But burning the map couldn't erase the horrible memories. And thanks to the curse of my perfect sense of direction, I couldn't forget the location of that temple if I tried. So, if you're the only one who knows where it is... Yep. Without me, you never get into that sea temple. That knowledge is my curse. Hmm. Jack, Jack, sounds to me like it's your lucky day. Petra and I have a lot of great experience helping people get over their tragic backstories. We do? Yeah. Yeah, we'll tackle that temple together. You know what? You've inspired me. I mean, am I the Velvet Tornado or aren't I? You are, right? Yes. Then yeah, that's the spirit! Nerm, time to get our adventuring things. Mm. Jesse, it's perfect. Structure block, sea temple. I know, it's amazing. It's almost too good to be true. Ah, yes! And Jack? Man, he is awesome, right? Ah, I can't believe it! I'm going on an adventure with Jack. Eee! I don't know, not sure if I trust him. Ah, you're being paranoid. I think he seems pretty cool. Nerm, I told you, it's not the admin. Ah, mm -hmm. oh, fine. What did he say? Nothing. Villager stuff. Nurm here wants to make a new map of this place. Uh, what with the uh, whole lava volcano incident. <laughs> Easy, Nurmy. Don't blow a gasket. What's got you so excited about this one? <laughs> uh, I'll explain on the way. So that means we're off to the Sea Temple? Don't you think you're looking a little squishy for that? Seriously? I mean, you're wearing a vest. The vest of five fists? Gifted to me by the singing clerics of Port... Okay, geez, I get it. It's a cool vest. Come on, I just need to make a quick pit stop and I can show you some real armor. Oh, Jesse, I'm so glad you're here. Hey, Radar. There is a lot going on. Someone still needs to finalize the ideas for the Founding Day banners. The cake baking team can't agree on what color to make the front of their shop. The Woolmakers Guild isn't super happy Radar. about their booth being next. Ah, sorry, got in the zone there. Uh, what's up, boss? I see you brought friends and a new accessory. Short version, the town's in danger. I stopped it for now, but I think this can help me fix it permanently. 
I'll be gone for a little bit. Gone? But, Jesse, what about Beacon Town? Founding Day is right around the corner, and if it's really in, in, in danger, who will protect everyone? There's no telling what could happen! Why don't you try leading them, pal? What? Me? That's... this is... Try not to explode. Ah! Jesse, I won't let you down. I know you won't. Good luck, boss! Beacon Town will be waiting for you when you get back. Sure. Ha! Um, goodbye. Oh. <laughs> you said it. Can't believe that's your assistant. He's more wound up than a pack of parrots with a jukebox. Or a creeper in a herd of cats. Or a squid in a, I don't know, a box or something. Anyway, he's real nervous is what I'm saying. Can you blame him? You're kind of an intimidating guy. Aw, thank you. So, where's this armor of yours? Oh, wow. You got some pretty cool stuff here. Stuff I've never... Uh, probably only seen, you know, once or twice. Not as cool as my stuff, obviously, but uh, you're well on your way. Definitely on your way to becoming a big hero like me. It's just like I always say. I couldn't have done it without my friends. Yeah, friends are the best. <laughs> Love. Having friends. Hey, wait, is this not where you keep your armor anymore? Yeah, I'm not seeing any armor. No? No, I just had Olivia install a little upgrade while she was here. More like it. Agreed. Hey, uh, can you just give me and Jesse a minute? Huh? Oh. Listen, with the heck mouth and everything, I feel like I didn't get to properly apologize for all the stuff with my sword, Champion City. So, I'm sorry. You won't hear it again, so don't get used to it. I'll totally deny everything later. Yeah, I'm sorry too. I hate it when we fight. It's the worst. You know I'd do anything for you, right? I know. Okay, now with that sappy stuff out of the way, let's go find us a sea temple. Jack, Nurm, you guys ready to go? Always. So where are we going exactly? It's time to chart a course. For Doom Sea. Oh. Shut up, Nurm. It's an awesome name. off the cliff, mournful blade in hand, and drove it right into the head of the Ikthara zombie. I slept on an enormous pile of diamonds that night. Enormous? Oh, I can only imagine. <sighs> oh yeah, pretty typical day for me. You'll see. <laughs> 